Why did Sheikh bin Baz give the fatwa regarding the American troops? Was this an error or was this correct? If this in fact was an error, does this mean that uh, Sheikh ba bin Baz is not trustworthy? Okay, Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. When people ask this question, I answer them by the answer the Prophet sallallahu gave to a person who asked him, when is the hour? The Prophet sallallahu said to him, what did you prepare for it? So there are questions that are irrelevant. The matter has been over. The American troops went, uh, Saddam Hussein was uh, killed or hanged, uh, the, the, the Sheikh Ibn Baz died, okay? So why do we need to dig into this topic again in order to create fitna among ourselves? This is exactly as a person who is digging into the fitna that took place between Sahaba. And as the scholars used to say that this fitna, Allah Jalla wa protected us from, uh, from, uh, from being involved in it or from our hands being involved in it. So we should protect our tongues from being involved in it. And the person is responsible about what he says, about what he hears, about what he um, advocate. So uh, we should be careful. If this question is an irrelevant question, the matter has been over, then why are we insisting on answering it? By the way, um, recently uh, there was a, a brother in the course, okay, I don't want to mention him anyway, he asked me a question once about some brothers who are calling names upon Muslims and who are classifying them and who are testing people in their Iman. They say, what do you believe in this? What do you believe in that? And so on. And they uh, advocate, okay, uh, advocate um, rulers, okay, and advocate listening to rulers, obeying rulers, and uh, they discuss the issue of uh, demonstrations, marshes, and they discuss the issue of uh, Mursi being the ruler of Egypt and uh, uh, the, the revolution that took place against uh, Husni Mubarak and against many other uh, rulers in the area. And they discuss these things. So uh, when he asked me, how do we answer those people? I said to him, make tasbih. Wallahi, that was my answer. And he said, seriously, Sheikh, I said, make tasbih. Then recently I saw him, he said, do you remember the answer that you have given me about this? He said, I was reflecting upon, upon that answer for some time. And then I said to myself, Wallahi, is true. Making tasbih is far better than answering this question and is far better than arguing with those brothers because they will not listen. Okay, and at the end of the day, if they believe in something, let them believe in it. If you believe in something, okay, you believe in it, and you should act upon what is beneficial for you, what is helpful for you in the dunya and then the akhirah. And I sincerely advise young brothers to look after what is useful for them in the dunya and in the akhirah. Wallahi, wallahi, many young brothers, they spend hours and hours discussing these things. And wallahi, if you ask any of them, how many juzu of the Quran you memorize? Yeah, do you memorize the last two juzu of the Quran, juzu amma? They don't memorize it. Why? Because they don't spend time with the Quran. And that's why the, you will see that most of these brothers are unfortunately involved in non-productive activities. And the minute they become involved in productive activities, such as just memorizing the Quran, Wallahi, you will see them uh, going far away from these questions. So, in order to advise people, just advise them to spend time with the Quran and to study, to keep studying, and leave these controversial questions until the end. Once they become solid, in their knowledge, they will know the answers of 
these questions and once they become solid in knowledge they will realize that oh we should have left those questions long time ago and we should not have been involved in such discussions.